Hello and welcome back to our survival world. Today I think we are gonna build our mine, make a fancy mine entrance and uh, enchanting towers. But first of all let's feed our cows because somehow we only have two and yeah we got a bunch of wheat down there and up here. So yeah let's do that and then let's feed our sheep and pigs and chickens <laughs> we got a lot of animals here and then let's start gathering materi materials for our mine entrance let's get some wheat for the cows and sheepies first let's feed our cows make babies let's feed our pig and lastly we are gonna feed our sheepies after i had finished breeding my animals i got down into the mines to get some more stone for the mining entrance i think it's time to quickly empty our inventory have i tamed you yet you little guy Oh no, I haven't tamed him yet. I thought I have tamed him. Oh no. We have to get some bones, I think. Oh no, I have no bones. Well, I suppose we have to find some bones next. There's literally no skeleton in this world. Ah, skeleton! And he only gives me a flippity flopping arrow. Come on now. Let's tame our little buddy. Yes! Do you want some? Come on, please. Oh, come on! Why do you have to do that to me? I guess... We have to get some more skeletons, but now it's time to get all the stuff that I left down in the, in the barn up in our tower. And I don't want to get sidetracked too much because I don't have that much much time for this episode. Why do you have 16 spruce buttons? Okay, I guess. You will die, sorry cow. Thank you. So, I get two more bones and let's try if he, he wants to love us. Come on, buddy. Let's do it. Come on. Oh, come on. I guess... I have to kill more skeletons. I got some more bones for you. Little buddy. Will you love me now? Yes, finally. Oh, we got a little, a little doggy boy. And as the sunrise, he tamed his dog and all was good. Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but... Nothing is good if we don't make our mine shaft and our enchanting tower today. So, yes, let's do that. Okay, now that we have our wood supplies, we can grab our stone and start the building. There we have it, our little mine entrance. It's small, but it looks cool. And uh, I have to get some netherrack to light up up here so that we can have some fires up here. I think that would really look awesome. And then uh, in here we get some little uh, wood supports and yeah, it doesn't go all the way down. I think that's a thing I'm gonna do between episodes because that's a grindy task and it's not really interesting to watch, I suppose. I really like how this has come out. It's like a little dwarven outpost thingy we are gonna get the netherrack we have a ruined portal down there so we don't have to go to the nether for netherrack yeah then we are gonna build an enchanting t tower and i don't know if i gonna build it up there or somewhere up there there were some uh flint and steel down in the nether portal already so the lighting up of this netherrack shouldn't be a problem now <laughs> That looks really cool now. Let me know in the comments if this looks good or not. But I think it looks really great.
Then next we are gonna make a little cast dirt uh, and rooted dirt around the edges here. And maybe here's some pot sole because it's directly at the water uh, later. Maybe you should actually make this lake happen today. I guess we are just making a lake today. And a mine shaft and an enchanting tower. <laughs> I think the lake is finished now uh, and yeah I I definitely come back uh, again and do more do some more detailing and these two trees have to grow and uh, we have some little rocks in the water and uh, seagrass of course and then back here we have a little swampy area and some logs underwater from from top fallen trees and then here we got another fallen tree with some moss on it and uh, here we can see some roots and water and it's a little bit swampy here and yeah I think that's the lake yeah and next we are gonna build the enchanting tower yeah built a little one right next to it so the big one doesn't seem so lonely up there on the hill and also i built a little path down with, so with some stairs which look like they were carved out of the stone of the mountain which i think look really cool may makes it feel a bit more mystical i also did the interior not for the top though because uh, i didn't know what <laughs> to put in there so <laughs> it's empty and uh, there are some lanterns in there so no mobs can spawn there let's look at the interior first let's take a look in the interior from the little tower uh, it's just some chests and a little dumpster to to deposit some items i think i should probably put a torch in here because monsters can't spawn here yeah and then we have a little pile of something <laughs> and yeah here is our enchanting table uh, with a plant which grows over some vines and uh, the ladders hold hold it up i think that's a really cool trick and some flower pots and all things you need for enchanting a little bit of an lapis lazuli and also i, I uh, got a goat horn while building this thing so yeah awesome <laughs> and yeah up here we have a little bedroom for the wizard which lives in here and also these uh, smithing tables make such a good ceiling we have a little lectern so he can read his magical books and a little bed and yeah 
some windows to look out yeah and that's also it for the episode and if you have enjoyed it uh please like and subscribe and yeah i hope i'll see you in the next episode there will be no videos for a while now because i'm going on a little vacation and yeah that's gonna be fun see you in three week weeks or something like that bye